Hi, I'm Mike Langley and welcome back to Ruland's Product Installation Series. Today, I'm going to show you how to install one of our Zero Backlash jaw couplings. For installation today, you'll need your jaw coupling which consists of two hubs and the spider. You'll also need your torque wrench, some shims, misalignment measuring tools, and of course your PPE. Now we will start the install procedure. First, assure the misalignment between shafts is within the coupling's readings. Complete misalignment information is available on Rulin.com. If your shafts are fixed, make sure the minimum distance between shafts is the hub length. For today's demonstration, we are using a larger jaw coupling which will require us to assemble it off the shaft. To install the jaw coupling, we are going to need a feeler gauge which is set to the correct size two hubs and a single spider, and a compression device. Place the semi-assembled jaw coupling into the compression device and tighten until the nubs on the spider are touching the base of the hubs. Use the feeler gauge to maintain the gap between the hubs to prevent metal-to-metal -metal contact. Before we install the coupling on the shaft, we are going to make sure the gap has been maintained to ensure maximum performance. When no gap is present, the coupling will no longer have misalignment capability and can cause excessive noise and wear. To ensure maximum clamping power, the shafts must be inserted past the set screw or the saw cut and clamp style hubs. Shaft penetration should not exceed the hub length. If at least one shaft is movable, shafts can be closer together. Fully tighten the screw on the hubs to the recommended seating torque. Your coupling assembly is now complete. Thank you for viewing this video. For more installation videos as well as technical information and CAD models, please visit Rulin.com.